Hi, my name is Scott Harmer. I'm with Motorsportsland in Salt Lake City, Utah. Today we're going to be looking over the brand new 2014 Landmark Key Largo. Um, starting from the front, you can tell that this uh, particular unit is opted with the full body automotive paint. Um, keeps it looking new like this for the, you know, for the full life of the RV. It's definitely an investment in a trailer like this that is uh, definitely wor worth doing. Um, coming from the front here, electric awning, nice row of LED lights. You can get a nice porch light that doesn't take a whole lot of battery power on the front. On the front, we're gonna start with the suspension system. You've got G-rated tires, 16 inch with aluminum wheels. It's also got the equal flex suspension system that actually works on shock absorbers as well. At about 55 miles an hour, it takes about 80% of the vibration out of the coach. It's better for your trailer's cabinets, for everything about the trailer. It's just that it's the best system on, on the market today. You got a nice entry handle, four steps going up, entering into the coach. Um, Landmarks have a frameless dual pane window. Um, just you know, a lot better system, so you don't have the frame around it that can uh, deteriorate, you know, over the life of, of, of the trailer. Enormous storage in your pass-through. You have the diamond plate rubber flooring with the D-ring tie-down straps. You'll notice it's insulated all the way through the coach, even up down through the pass-through storage. All the landmarks are also equipped with a six point level up system. It's a one touch system that as soon as you get off of the back of the truck, touch it, levels everything out completely up which by a one touch. Your baggage doors are full thickness with a slam latch. You'll notice also that the key strike for the slam latch is integrated into the frame of the trailer instead of just a little hook to really give you a good solid door. You've got twin 40 pound, 10 gallon tanks, one located on each side, just to make them getting on and off the, the trailer to fill up a lot easier. Coming around the front, um, Landmarks have an 88 degree turning radius on their nose cap. Um, it makes it so that you don't have to have a slider hitch with your short bed trucks nowadays. Um, it's got a nice bullet shape to it for better aerodynamics on it. Um, nice hitch cover for the front to make it look good. You've got a lighted battery compartment. Um, also you have a battery disconnect switch, which is really nice to not have to remember to turn everything off, just pop that off. Um, also you've got a hydraulic front landing gear system to get you on and off your truck about 10 times faster. This particular unit was also integrated with a generator prep station. It gives you the full enclosed box and it also gives you the start stop with the hour meter on the inside that we'll take a look at when we go inside. Coming around the front you've got your second 40 pound 10 gallon tank and again just massive massive storage on your pass through storage. You got your docking center here that has everything from a hot cold shower, your winterized system, hot water heater bypass, and your tank valves. Power coming in from the bottom. Um, in a, this unit, you have your waste hose storage down below here. Oversized hot water heater. The slide system on these is a rack and pinion slide system. You can see the large gears that go in and out of the actual frame of the trailer. Um, it's the best system that there is for longevity and no, no problems. This particular trailer is opted with the slide toppers on all the sides as well to keep the debris off of your slides on all of them. Come around the back, all of your landmarks have a 50 amp service because of all the stuff that they've got inside, the twin air conditioners and that requires a 50 amp service. It's a pretty big cable, can be kind of cumbersome to uh, wind up and take in and out. So it's nice that they've got the Glen Levitt power reel. Just pull that right in, makes it a lot easier. The rear cap on a landmark 
um, aerodynamically designed as well, all laminated. So be, you know, between the, the front cap laminated and the rear cap laminated, you've got about a 15 to 20% better fuel economy with the aerodynamics on it. The people that are bringing them to us are just you know, much more happy to tow a landmark as opposed to anything else for their own personal fuel economy. That's gonna translate into a lot of savings. Um, you've got a receiver for your bike rack on the back, as well as an integrated ladder going up to the full walkable roof. Coming around the front, the Key Largo has an exterior entertainment system, 32 inch TV from Sony. It's also got the Genesis AM, FM, CD, DVD, MP3, MP3, 4, Bluetooth system. That should be enough uh, for anything that your kids technology want to throw at you. And an additional second awning covering up everything up front as well. All right, come on up the four step uh, inside and we'll take a look inside. Right when we come in, you can take a look at the Bue floor. Um, it's a much thicker, much uh, nicer flooring system than what you see in, in, in most of your trailers. We'll start here in the kitchen area, kind of where everybody likes to entertain. Um, first and foremost, all of your, uh, everything about the trailer is as, as residentially as possible. You know, from a Moen faucet with a spray valve, you know, one hot cold on off valve just to you know, really utilize countertop space. And I don't think I've ever seen a trailer with a bigger sink than the Key Largo. All solid surface countertop. The countertop is also a non-porous, so for food preparation, it's a much more sanitary surface to have. It doesn't uh, collect the bacteria. Um, refrigerator, 12.7 square feet. Refrigerator with a deep four and a half inch dish in the freezer. Again, with the non-porous solid surface countertop, it covers up your range to really optimize the most, you know, as much counter space as possible. A nice diamond cut black backsplash. Cabinetry, you know, from the raised panel on the cabinetry to the hidden hinges, all hull or hardwood surfaces, you know, even, uh, you know, on, the, on all the appliances, you know, having the solid surface fronts on, but really gives it a nice residential look. Full-size microwave, oversized refrigerator, oversized oven, full extension ball bearing drawers that are capable of holding 50 pounds each. In case you need to bring your cinder blocks with you. Um, coming down to the TV, you've got a 42 inch Sony system here, as well as your DVD here, full surround sound throughout the trailer as well. Um, electric fireplace, which is really nice. It gives you a nice form of heat if you are hooked into power. You don't have to use your propane to, to heat the main part of the trailer. Desktop coming out. Um, across the back, first thing that you'll notice, another thing that you'll notice that you'll always see in a lot of your high-end motor homes is you've got the MCD nightshades. Much better than the standard shades that you pull up and down. An 84 inch sofa that's got a hide to bed on it as well. Um, two really nice recliners that also have pockets on the side for your magazines or remote controls. Just a nice little touch. Cabinetry all throughout, great for storage. Even all hardwood everywhere throughout. You've got a really nice um, fan to give it more of a residential look as well. Um, your dinette pulls out, the slide is stored inside, the extra leaf. Even your seats have storage under them for card games or cards or whatever you can do at the counter. More storage behind the table as well. Cabinetry is absolutely fantastic. Again, the use of space in a landmark is just great utilizing every square inch on the slide pantry. Um, this particular landmark is equipped with the Yeti cold weather package. Um, what that equates to is 
Beyond the thickness of the trailer and the insulation that it comes standard with, which I took the liberty of, of showing you the dimensions, an eighth of an inch coffee cup keeps your hand from being burnt by you know blazing hot coffee. You've got, that's the thickness of the walls. Floor. And then to really bring it in, that's the thickness of the roof. So between that, then you've got the cold water, cold weather Yeti package, which puts heat pads on all of your tanks. It also wraps all of your water lines and has a 12 volt system that has an integrated heat sensor on it. So if they start getting cold, they kick on and heat up your water lines as well. So that's a lot more insulation than you'll see in just about any trailer you'll find. Um, with that, you've got the integrated Whisper Quiet air conditioning system that's integrated into the brick foam. Um, it's a you know 30,000 BTU total system, Whisper Quiet. Even utilizing extra space under the stairs, any place that there is extra storage, they're gonna make it. Um, coming up into the bathroom, you'll notice you've got a, a porcelain toilet, foot flush. You've got a really nice linen cabinet for all of your toiletries. You've got a one piece seamless full size residential shower with a seat in it, which is really nice. Even your bathrooms have solid surface countertops. Coming into the bedroom, you'll notice you've got a full-size, king-size bed. That's a 70-inch by 80-inch full-size bed. With the slide system that they have, having it being on a cable system, you actually get full storage under the bed as well. Going into the walk-in closet. Um, the brand new Dyson vacuum. It's ready to go, it's rechargeable. The power on, you know, full charge is enough to do the entire trailer. Integrated security safe. A lot of storage throughout the trailer. Um, we've got two extra seats for the dinette that are nice and folded up, as well as a double hanging locker. And this trailer was opted with a stackable washer and dryer unit. Um, if you don't have the washer and dryer unit, it is pre-prepped on every one standard. Again, this opted with a second 32 inch AM FM CD DVD player in the bedroom as well. And just great storage throughout the trailer. Well, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to go through the brand new 2014 Landmark Key Largo with me. Um, please come see us at Motorsports Land if you have any more questions.